In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this brain shape infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this brain shape in PowerPoint and I have added a geometric shape in the background. And when I click, it will start showing some signals are transmitting to different parts of the brain. And when I click again, it will show you the first option. You can add the title, the detailed text along with the icon, then shows the second option, the third one and the fourth one and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the slide background to any light color background then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape and shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and the height i'm going to make it as three and the width i'm going to make it as four and then if you want to increase the size you can hold the shift key and increase the size all right so like this something like this and then i can just bend it a little bit all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add uh, with the help of a freeform shape the the size or the design of the brain for that first let me just go to right mouse click format shape and increase the transparency a little bit then go to insert shapes and from the lines i'm going to choose the freeform shape so first i'm just going to click it here and here like this design i'm going to make it should look like kind of uh the heart uh, sorry, sorry the brain then i'm just going to click three four like this and then i'm going to start following this the top part of the oval shape you need to just click it on the corners all right something like this and then i'm going to click it here so you can see here my first the basic design is ready now I'm going to select the oval shape and I'm going to delete this then this one also make it sh uh, shape outline no outline now you can edit this shape the way you want for example now I'm going to right mouse click edit point and I'm going to reduce it something like this you can see here this I want to increase it a little bit and this one also I want to make it more curved here all right so you have to make a design something which resemble like a you can see here like a brain and if you like to edit further you can see here right mouse click edit points and this one i'm going to make it somewhat curve like this here you can see here like this also you can make it somewhat curve okay so once this is done i'm going to insert some geometric background here in this particular or the picture here so first of all go and select the picture or texture fill click on insert i'm going to use online picture if you have the picture in your local pc then you can select from file but let me just uh, choose this one and then i'm going to type some geometric background and search it and then you need to choose the best uh, whichever design which you feel here so for example let me just go down and i would like to choose maybe still i'm not happy with this one maybe yeah this one i'm going to choose and then click on insert and then the design has been or the background has been inserted here now come to this point and make this rotate with shape untick and this left and right you can increase the size you can see here like this and from the top and the bottom also you can just adjust it like this so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some uh, kind of a small uh, uh, light effect okay so that led light effect or where the brain uh, is transmitting the signals that kind of thing i would like to do so go to shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white completely go to the uh, effects soft edges increase the size here can you see here like this if you want you can further reduce the size by holding the shift key 
now if it is not visible in that case you need to reduce the this one so i would like to reduce the size further and then i would like to reduce this also i think maybe this is okay and then i'm going to randomly copy and paste it or press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to place it or position it like this you know wherever you like to add i'm just adding like that we can see here i'm just pressing ctrl d and then just do that part you can see here again like that i'm just adding i would like to add here one control d one more at the bottom and here also some free space is there so like this i'm just going to add like uh, this kind of uh, light effects then i'm going to close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this white all right when i select uh, all of when i press control a it selected all so i'm just going to hold the shift key and i'm not going to select the brain shape okay so only this got uh, uh, selected the first add animation go to the more entrance effects i'm going to select basic zoom click okay then right mouse click effect options go to the timings and make it until end of the slide and click okay so it will be keep on coming like that then i'm going to add one more effect okay so again i have selected all then add animation i'm going to more emphasis effects now and click on blink and click ok and this one also go to effect options timings until end of the slide click ok and this one this also should happen with previous if you want so now if i play it comes like this you can see here now depending on your requirement you can just adjust this one so i'm going to delay this one a little bit you can see here some random delays i'm just going to do that all right now if i play now again so some will come first other will come after some delay so like this you can do it and then i'm going to use this uh, freeform shape again to just connect these dots you can see here it goes here here i'm just clicking randomly again here all right so i'm just clicking again it goes back to this this again from here say this will go back here or i'll just put it here and again here like this you can randomly select this one and just double click this one okay wherever you want and then shape outline i'm going to make it white and close this one right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to make it somewhat transparent line you know like this so now if i play it comes like this now for this also you can add the animation effect so for this let me just go to the animations again enable the animation pane add animation i'm going to more entrance effects and then i'm going to select maybe uh, say a uh, random bars okay like that or if you want you can select the wipe effect whichever way you want maybe the random bars is okay and click okay and this should happen with previous so if i play it comes like this you can see here and again if you want double click this one timings this also you can make it until end of the slide so this also will be keep on coming like this you can see here so once this is done you can add the options so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rounded rectangle i'm going to put the option here shape outline no outline the colors i'm going to use with the help of the eyedropper i'm going to choose some of these colors like this all right so now i'm going to press ctrl d i'm going to add one more here ctrl d and then the last one so depending on your requirement you can make it four five or six it's up to you then go to insert shapes i'm going to select this one and then i'm just going to make it like this for example and shape outline i'm going to give some gray color and this one also you can 
close this one right mouse click go to the format object and i'm going to make it transparent you can see here then you can just change the color you want again using the eyedropper i want this green color increase the transparency again like that you can change the colors also so then once this is done you can go to insert text box and i'm just going to say add detail text here center align i'm going to put it here press ctrl d to duplicate this will be here and again here and one more here 